My name is Alicia English and welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing something super special. I'm at a workshop where I get to learn something new. I love doing things out of my comfort zone, so today I'm trying something I've never done before. During this workshop, I was going to learn how to make a willow serving tray. The instructor showed us a demonstration on how to make our very own. Sorry for the audio during these clips, but I couldn't miss showing you guys what I was working on today. There were four other workshops going on in the same room. Okay, so I'm gonna try to kind of break off all the fibers as they go down. I just watched a demonstration. It makes it a little bit more pliable. And then I need to make the shades. She said I wanna make sure I weave through four or five times around the circle. So that was one. Two. I'm pinching tight with my thumb here so it doesn't unravel. Three. Four. That was five. I have a circular shape, so now I need to do that with two more strands of the willow, keeping it tight. It has like a waxy texture, so it's kind of hard to pull my fingers down on it. So then I want to go about one third of the way over because I need three. This is Teresa, my mother-in-law, who's a pro at making baskets. She was a great example to help me through the workshop today. She's cutting off the excess of her willow on the base of her new tray. These are the strands of willow that we're going to use to weave the bottom of our tray. We attached a string to help hold the shape before we start our weaving. Here I'm beginning to form the bottom of my tray. Weaving was actually really fun to do. It was a little bit of a process, but as I started to see the tray come to life, it really made this project a lot more fun. Here you can really see the process starting to take shape on my tray. I continue this process all the way across both sides of my shape. I'm really happy with the way this is turning out. So this is the top and I'm going to do some other things I haven't learned yet with all these pokey things. And then this is what the bottom side looks like. So very similar. You can really see here by looking at everyone's work that there's a variety of species that you can grow of willow. There were lots of colors like reds, orange, browns, and greens. Using some really sharp pruners, I cut off all of the excess willow on the bottom of my tray. I left the top because I needed to use that for an additional step later on in the process. These were really sharp and I was really careful to get a short edge so that my tray would lay flat in the end. Here the instructor, Lena, is showing us how to weave the side edge of our tray. It was pretty tricky to do and she did a great job demonstrating. Here's a sample that she finished up earlier from the class. I cut them straight. Straight, okay. They could be whatever. I thought you did them straight. Because if you want to show. Yeah, a couple centimeters or something. Yeah. Okay. So I like to cut straight, and then if you want to do like this, you can take a piece of willow, take a piece of willow. Depends on how far you want. Just one like this, put this on, and then cut it. Okay, use it like a stick. You want to cut it off, and then stick your lens off. I 
just finished cutting off all the edges of the side of the willow on my tray. I also created a tie knot at the end so I could make some handles for my tray. I just got home from the workshop today and it was so fun. I got to do something that I'd never done before and it was really interesting to learn a new skill. The reason that I wanted to attend this workshop today was because my mother-in-law is growing something in my backyard. She's growing willow in multiple colors and I'm really interested to see all the things that she's going to do that she has planned with the willow. I've been looking at a lot of things she started and she's just learning and so I wanted to be a part of the process. So it's the end of the willow season and we're going to wait for a few more weeks and all of these leaves are gonna fall off and then we're going to be able to dry this for two to three months before we can use it for projects. So this was planted in the spring and we're gonna harvest it in a few more weeks. Once this is harvested and dried and left for two to three months, we'll be able to use this for projects after we've soaked it in water for about one day for every one foot of the length of the willow. So for a 10 foot piece, we would leave it for 10 days. This is the finished product of the willow serving tray that I made. We worked with kits and was given the materials that we needed to create the project. Today while I was at the workshop, it made me think of something that I thought would be inspirational to share with you guys and something that I've been making sure that I do in my daily life. And that is surrounding myself with people that are here to lift me up and encourage me and support me. My mother-in-law is always there for me and today was so fun to spend the day with her working at this workshop. She is always my number one fan and I'm so thankful to have her in my life. Surround yourself with people that care for you, are there to encourage you and wanna rise you up. With that being said, I'm very thankful for all of my viewers and my subscribers on our channel. We have an amazing YouTube family on our channel and I'm so thankful. You guys always rise me up with all of your positive comments and support and love and we're so thankful for it. So thank you for being a part of my journey. I'm going to go make myself a nice warm cup of tea and use my cute little serving tray. The kids were super impressed with my tray I made today at the workshop. This was totally different than anything I've made before. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button be subscribed to my channel and i'll see you on the next video wait don't go away do you want to be entered into my october giveaway head over to my axon project video and leave me a comment you must be a subscriber to enter